today the farm sim gods have blessed us with 24 mods, and this is only 8 of them. What's going on everybody, DJ Goham here, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today we've got 24 mods, might be the biggest mod day ever. For all platforms we've got 8 new and 13 updates, and for PC and Mac we have 3 updates. Let's check it out. First up today, we have the Lizard MKS 33. This is a brand new, well, it's kind of brand new, it's a modded version of the Lizard in game. So this guy right here will do milk, fuel, water, diesel, dev, liquid manure, and digestate. Now, does that sound familiar? It should, because Missy B has something similar, though Missy B's holds more and holds more stuff. There you go, but this one, you can change up colors. So right now we got a uh, kind of a punk thing going on with the pink and the black wheels, but you can do just about whatever you want. Let's jump in and check it out. We're going to find this. This is going to be found in tools and is going to be found in animals. And here it is on the far left hand side for $70,000 base price, 42,000 liters capacity at the high end, but not at the low end. Boom. Let's jump in, check it out. So we start with a 32,000 liter trailer very base it's exactly what you get base game however rim color you've got default and then we get all of our normal colors so whites silvers blues pinks if you want to go cloth you could do that as well now the only thing is your main colors you get a bunch of stuff so you get gold you get a black metallic red metallic get a lot of chrome colors that have been kind of fused which is neat and then you go into white and you think well, white is legit stainless steel. They're both the same. And that holds true through all of these. It's all a multiple color of stainless steel. So without changing any scripting and making the trailer any different, this is what we are stuck with. So just keep that in mind. And that's the pink that we were using. There's nothing wrong with it. As a matter of fact, I like it. I think it looks great. It's a really cool trailer. I like the fact that you could change the colors on it. So you can change it whatever you would like. So we're just going to go with that. And the capacity, you've got standard and the extension for $990. And that's going to bring it up to 42,000 liters. Again, this holds milk, fuel, water, diesel, def, liquid manure, and digestate. So keep that in mind. Next up, we've got the ladder pack. And I've already run into an issue with this mod. It may just be me, so don't take my 100% word for it. Try it out for yourself. This is a pack of purchasable and resellable ladders that you can take by hand and strap to a vehicle. Well, that's great, but there's only one. There's only one in front of us right now. However, if I go into my garage, I've got it right there. It says ladder, 52 bucks. And if I sell it, <laughs> it's nowhere to be found even if i reset my buy point to right there so the ladder should pop up right here i'm gonna go in we're gonna go into tools and we're gonna go into miscellaneous here they are on the left hand side we've got the aluminum ladder and then we have the normal ladder aluminum ladder here it is for 150 bucks it says initial leasing cost problem is you can't lease these so that's another problem with this mod as well again Purchasable, 70 bucks, leasing, three bucks, but you can't lease them. And I'm just gonna buy like two of those. <laughs> They're not there. They're nowhere to be found, as a matter of fact. Even if I go over here to the store, they're not here. So where are they? I have no idea. I don't know where, <laughs> I don't know where they've gone, but they're here. You could climb them if you want. You could pick them up and do your thing there you go put it right there watch it go wee <laughs> but uh yeah as far as anything else goes the ladders just aren't popping up your next new mod for all platforms today is westpac decoration hills and yes this is exactly what you and i both thought it was it's all the decorations from Westridge Hills, all of them. We even get a couple sheds, like things that you can use, not just decorations. We get silos, silo extensions. You get the house where you can sleep. Like they've literally just been modeled for normal mods. So this is cool because you can get on Westridge Hills now. Westridge Hills? Westridge Hills, which got an update today, by the way. Um, you get on there and create multiple farms with the same equipment. And I think that's awesome. 
So just going through, you've got chairs, you've got buildings. Of course, buildings can't be opened or anything like that. We get all little things. Oops, I didn't turn the chair around. You get a bouncy ball thing, the trampoline, there you go. You get a flag blowing in the wind, all your barn, sheds, buildings. Ooh, that's a big one right there. I love this shed, by the way. And then, of course, you've got all this other stuff right here as well. Houses. This is your house. I've turned it the wrong way, but this is your house. See, I'm not tired. Of course I'm not tired. And <laughs> it's awesome. And then, of course, you, you also get your um, your potato and, and sugar beet, all that good stuff right here. It's, it's insane. It's all over the place. So let's jump in and let's just do a quick overview of where things are, what you can buy, and that kind of thing. So first off, you've got stuff in silos, decoration, and farmhouses. I don't think there's anything in sheds, but we'll go in there and take a look anyway. Uh, so let's start uh, Let's start in decoration, since this is a Westpac Decoration Hills. So here we are. Let's start it up. So we get the Farm Old Barn for 2000 Farm Old Barn again. 1500 farm old barn for 18 and we get a chair for 18 bucks table for 39 flag of the united states for 250 bucks we get a hay cart i'm gonna stop saying the prices because they're all sh they're all really low uh hay cart we also get another farm old barn planter box square planter box round that is wrong <laughs> we also get a rocking chair and a sofa and elastic bed that is not it's a trampoline come on umbrella clothes that's not right at all and that's everything in decorations. If we jump into silos, everything that we've got for this mod in silos is actually going to be on the very end. So these four pieces right here. So you get the large silo extension for 90,000. That's going to be 150,000 liter extension. All your six or seven, sorry, base normal crops. We get a small extension for 50,000, and that is going to hold 50,000 liters, or 49,000 rather. So your large silo extension is definitely the way to go there. We also get your large grain silo holds 300,000 liters of the same stuff, your base seven crops. And then of course we get the multi silo, which will hold potatoes, sugar beets, and wood chips as well. This will also hold 300,000 liters. So very cool there. Now, in sheds, I do believe, because we've missed a few things, I do believe there's a few things in here as well. In here, we've got two pieces. So you start off with your farm garage, the large one, and then you've got a smaller version as well for 45000 and 20000 respectively. I do not believe that this one is part of this mod. I believe that was with a different mod. Now, I think I remember reviewing that one previously. But you still get both of these nonetheless. Both are going to cost you 25 bucks a day. They're very cool there. And then... Last but not least with this mod, if we jump into farmhouses, should be the very last one. There it is, the Westridge Hills Farmhouse for $45,000. Also includes a flag. Everything that's normal with that one, you could get it. This is a big, huge mod pack, but it doesn't hardly take up any space. 22 uh, megabytes. Very small. Next, we've got what has to be one of the largest buildings that we have in the game right now. This is grain storage. Grain storage in European style, 90 by 30 meters, which is crazy. Absolutely insane. Just doing a, a quick run around the entire building, you can see how absolutely massive this thing is. There's only one way in, and it's right here. So we're going to come up here. We're going to open the door. If we go straight ahead, it's going to be where your light is. You're going to want to turn that on. If we come through here, you get two huge bays to be able to put things down. You've got a nice uh, separator in the middle, so you keep your crops away from each other. You could use this to place your machinery as well, though you're not going to have a great time getting things in and out. Uh, semi truck's going to be pretty tough, but you can come in here, pull forward, and then back up in here. You should be able to do that. Uh, through here, this one's going to be a little bit more difficult, but uh, smaller tippers, maybe um, stuff like that. Then you've got a larger area around here as well, kind of open. So you can put machinery, you can put other crops if you would like. Kind of whatever you want to do with it, you can do with it. Now, we've got a couple places we can go in, though there's nothing in here for us. Um, we get a nice picture of Felsbrin down there, so that's kind of cool. And then if we go through here, we've got another storage room. I like the fact that these are here, even if they don't do anything, it gives it a little more sense of kind of role play, if you will. So you could use this building. It'll be great for role play because it is very detailed. If you guys want to find this, of course, it's going to be found in placeables and in sheds. Next new mod for all platforms is My Cow Pasture. This reminds me a whole lot of the Oregon Springs Cow Pasture. Now, of course, everything's in different places, but 
it still reminds me of at least the main part straight down through the middle so giving you just a run around real quick of this mod if we jump down onto the ground we can see this is going to be where we buy our cows we get 400 cows now this is going to cost you two hundred sixty thousand dollars to put down but you get 400 cows it takes up a lot of room as well this is where you get your milk move it through the center this is where you're going to do your food i don't believe straw is going to go down through here i think i see the straw point right over here uh, we have water if we continue to move around counterclockwise this is where you're going to send your straw send it and then of course you've got your slurry here and then if we make our way all around you've got a bunker for your manure so very cool gates all open and closed which is also really nice it's great to see stuff like that but your cows have a nice little area to walk around do they thing and have a good time there you go of course if you want to find this gonna be found in placeables and in animal pens next up we have something that is truly remarkable the silo multi fruit and shed this is a multi fruit with shed with door animation and lighting as well manual lighting silo price is going to be one hundred thousand dollars so nothing too crazy do a quick run around the building you see just two doors with a nice window here and then an empty point and a fill point okay well that's not too bad well not for a hundred thousand dollars maintenance 30 bucks a day capacity half a million liters i'm starting to get more interesting let's go see this we're actually going to pop in and look at this because this silo holds <laughs> it's got a secret and the secret is is just completely remarkable this silo just broke the game and literally you don't need anything else ever so don't even worry about getting anything else ever because this will hold everything legit homie everything liquids solids bulks yeah stuff any another word that rhymes with b i don't know so if i could go through here I, i'm not even gonna do it because it's everything will it hold yes the answer is yes <laughs> if it's part of the game yes it will hold it you want to store water do it it'll it'll work you want to store herbicide go for it what about chaff tmr yup yup digestate absolutely yes <laughs> it's stupid awesome and i love it how did this pass testing this is incredible if you guys want the lights come inside and then boop, 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 click of the lights we've got a nice ladder here to go to nowhere evidently but we get a nice view of everything in here nonetheless you got all your tanks here holding legit everything if you can come around you can actually hang out a little while see no animations on those nothing wrong with that and then of course you got another door right here this this is it this is all you need don't don't get anything else because you're going to be wasting your time next up we've got barn with workshop and hay floor just first off before we do anything it's going to be found in placeables and in sheds and we have multiple opening doors on the front we've got one opening door on the back so we're gonna let that go very nice animation windows all over the place is this little guy even open yeah even though you can't really do much once you walk in here so this is the barn with workshop and hay floor it's a barn it's got a workshop what's a hay floor well it's a hay loft unfortunately we're too tall to get up there so it's completely useless absolutely completely useless nothing can be done up there so don't even try but it's it is nice you get a a place to work on your vehicles uh, it is as far as i can tell only consistent to the inside so you're gonna need something to get to the inside here but one thing that's kind of neat about this is you can use this on a smaller farm so if you got got a small farm going on maybe something like that got lights right here that's cool if you've got a smaller farm this may be good for you because this is only twenty-five thousand dollars, so very very in the reach of everybody and only 50 bucks a day not too bad and finally your last new mod today for all platforms this is the placeable sell point for milk bio milch <laughs> station for baying uh i'm pretty sure that this was a really really bad uh uh translate job but you know what doesn't matter whatever use it for fun uh we do have a light in here it is a manual light so click upon that and then it's literally just sell from there so if you go in this is going to be found in placeables and miscellaneous if you want it we're going to turn on our help windows and we got a beautiful pink truck right here full of milk forty-two thousand liters of milk first off let's take a look and see does this add a 
spot no it doesn't so it doesn't add itself to your prices list so you're gonna be guessing a whole lot so we come through here should yep there it is we get a nice uh trigger price is going up fairly decently so not too bad there quit thirty thousand dollars for twenty thousand liters of milk so running about fifteen hundred bucks ish I think is that the right math i don't know you guys don't let me do math anymore after that one time so <laughs> there's your bio milk nothing nothing crazy it's just a good mod moving into updates for all platforms we've got 13 of them so sit back relax and have a good time first up we have mini brune change log 2.3.1.0 fix the texture settings for farm area borders used less slots on console plus added extra seasons crop definition for multiplication grass next we've got the anaburger htd pack version 1.1 added the htd 3027 fixed problems with collisions the manure system has been made ready for pc players and new extra color for the tank this is a mod that I reviewed last week. Thank you, Vertex Design, for sending that over to me. Or not reviewed, rather, uh, more a showcase than anything. So if you guys like this, check it out. This is a really, really cool slurry tank. And an update to the Nalls Potato Storage Box and Turnable Pallet Fork Changelog 1.1. Fix the brand naming for the right shop category made compatible with fill types from Potato Washer and Potato Sorter from the global company mod made compatible with multi-fruit types. So added fruit types, Potato Wash, Potato Sorted, Sugar Cane, Union, Carrot, and change the texture scales. We've got an update to the Shed Pack by Missy B. Shout out to Missy B. Changelog 1.1 updated the textures we've got an update to the adapter changelog 1.1 color choice has been added and your colors are going to range from standard to pottinger we also have homer red as well horse red you get the amazon orange steel orange that's kind of cool limkin blue new holland blue Lieber yellow, yeah, ponzi yellow massey ferguson green that doesn't make any sense doid's fire <laughs> is it massey's not green uh maybe that's no, we have fence right there. Doys Fire Green, Fent Old, Fent New, and Big Bud. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, Big Buds have three point hitches on them, which this requires. Next, we've got an update to Westbridge Hills Changelog 1.004. Fix the transport mission. Big land divided in more little lands. No need to restart your game save. This will work just fine. An update to the TTHD flatbed, which we got later last week. Changelog 1.1 fixed the wiper animation, replaced the reverse lights, and added more lights around the truck as well. An update to the optional fertilizer pack for all platforms. Changelog 1.2 more realistic working speed. So if you like working at 6 miles per hour versus 12 miles per hour, this mod may be right for you. <laughs> mm -mm. Nope. And an update to the Field Creator Pack. This is where cultivators can't create fields. This is a great mod for console. However, changelog 1.3, more realistic working speed. So if you prefer to work at 9 miles an hour versus 12 miles an hour like the normal ones can, well, this mod might be right for you. Next, we've got an update to the Coon Interactive Sprayers. Again, for all platforms, changelog 1.5 now. More realistic working speed. This is going the other way for some reason. So now with this, you can go 10 miles per hour instead of 7. What is going on with the world right now? And an update to the Hardy Interactive Sprayers. Changelog 1.6. More realistic working speed. You like going faster. You like spraying quickly at 10 miles per hour instead of 7. This is right for you. The Hardy Interactive Sprayers of the first two mods went slow. And now we've increased the speed by almost 50%. I don't even I don't know what's going on with updates anymore. Your next to last mod update today is the Massey Ferguson 7700 S, one of my favorite tractors of all time. Changelog 1.2, new LED lights, new skin lights, new details, and new tire configurations. If you're curious what those are, so if we jump in here, we can take a look. We've got Trailer Borg standard wides or wheel weights, wide tires, wides with weights, rear twins, twins all around, back to standard again. In Michelin, we've got standard wide ties, wheel weights, weights with wides. In Midas, we've got standard and wide tires. And then we also have Nokian tires as well. All pretty standard stuff, but hey, they've updated them. So if you use this mod, if you like this mod, go check it out. And your last mod update today for all platforms, the Massey Ferguson 8700S by the same modder, STV modding, doing really 
really fine work. Change log 1.1, various bugs have been fixed. New details, new configuration on the 8730, which is cool, and new tire configurations as well. So again, if we go down through here, we have Trailborg Michelin, yeah, trailer board and Michelin. Okay, well, that's it. Wheel setups, we've got standard weights, wides, wides with weights. Oh, man, that looks good. Twin wheels all the way around. Rear twins, back to standard again. In Michelin, you've got standard, you've got wides, uh, you've got wide tires with weights, and back to standard again. So no standards with weights on here, though it does look good good doesn't it and then engine setup says they've added a new 8730 engine and yes they have right here 325 horsepower on that new engine configuration very good moving into mod updates for pc and mac players today no new mods but we do have three updates first is the johnston brothers modular trailer set this just came out on the 17th just came out on tuesday uh, but change log 1.001 bells and logs should not explode on the trailer after when saved and then loading the game with the trailer filled with bells or logs and either the bell or forestry module attached to the trailer. I can now carry the bell and forestry module on the pallets by hand. Very cool. And lower the center of mass so it is more stable. We've got an update to the large liquid storage. Change log 1.001. Marker set. Lights been made switchable. Warning stripes made to fade out. Trigger markers made to fade out. And building has moved to a new category. Agra Z. All that should sound familiar with me now. We have the Zodal Zocket uh, making huge, crazy, awesome, really neat mods for global company. Um, th th this guy's going absolutely crazy with his stuff. He's doing a really, really good job. And last today, thank God, the 24th mod of the day, the Gasparto Nina 300 change log version 2.0000. Added marker option, decals been adjusted, tire configurations added, dirt redone, new store and icon images, and added rear grills. Let's get out of here. Well, guys, that is finally it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. Join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss a new mod video or daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. It being Friday, there are no mods on Saturdays or Sundays, so make sure you keep that in mind. There will be no new mod videos over the weekend, nor Farm Sim News, which is a weekly video series I do here on the channel talking about news and updates, everything going on. If you haven't checked that out, go to the playlist section of our channel and check it out. But with all that being said, I hope you have a great, wonderful rest of your day. Hope you enjoy the mods, 24 of them total. Go get them. All that being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace!